and i'm hoping my audio is good i just did a quick sound check my audio seems to be good and once again i want to say welcome you all to today today is our seminar day the seminar like i explained to you all some few days ago is going to be on a special group and that's and that's the ibf masterclass group for today it's going to be an amazing one so if you're not here to register for the seminar this is the best time for you to go and ensure that you're registered for the IVF Super Masterclass, which is going to be today at 8 p.m. West African time. Once again, I want to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Babaji Jalalade, Dr. J, at Ask the Gynecologist. And tonight, this afternoon, I'm going to spend some time with you all to, for you to know basically about ATG. This is just an open live chat room and there's no format to this discussion this afternoon. It's a one of a kind, one of its kind, and uh, I'll be answering basic questions, telling you more about ATG, telling you also more about our IVF center, and also answering questions that may come across random questions. Okay, and I can see people are already on Instagram live and they're joining us live. We now broadcast simultaneously on Instagram, and we do recordings and and we post our videos later on on YouTube. And over here on Facebook, you can see me live. I'm talking. I'm obviously getting ready for the seminar. It's going to be an amazing one because we have so many things to discuss this evening. And we'll be talking about how to improve success rate during IVF. I'm hoping my audio is good. Let me quickly do some quick check. If you can hear me, we all let me know. If my audio is not good, let me know so I can edit things as well. Uh, this afternoon, I want to say this is Dr. J here, and I have so much uh, happiness. I mean, I'm so delighted uh, to be here on this program to talk to you about high VF and also how you can make your sure that you are healthy as a lady. ATG, if you don't know who we are, is Ask the Gynecologist, and we are one of uh, lucky kind on Facebook. It's a group of 1.7 million viewers and we talk about how to improve your lifestyle, how to improve yourself as a lady, how to ensure that you get pregnant when you want to, if you want to, and also giving opportunities to ladies to express themselves. If you notice that ATG is one of the biggest groups on Facebook today in Nigeria, in Africa, most especially where you can celebrate your uh, baby's you know, delivery, you can celebrate yourself as a lady. And uh, People have obviously made uh, opportunities, made friends on ATG, lifelong friends. And also women have been able to express themselves freely, never of its kind in Nigeria, in Africa, in the world. And ATG has given opportunity for women to express themselves even more in terms of their health. So this is our program, this is our face face, and this is me. I'm Dr. J here, and we have our team members out there. We have all our moderators, all our admins, and they are there. And you are you're all aware now that ATG itself has its own separate laboratory where you can do all your investigations, including your hormonal profile for infertility, your kidney test, heart function, ECG, liver function test, your pap smear or your cervical smear, and every other investigations, including your semen analysis, semen MCS, malaria test, vital test, everything you need to do in your body. And also we have a new center, the IVF center, which will be open uh, June, July this year to cater for issues issues regarding fertility. Thank you so much, uh, Cecilia Im Imla. Uh, we have Ann Chidima Oji, Sandy Rayford, all the way from uh, Houston, Texas. Sandy Rayford was here yesterday, and uh, she was amazing. Erezi Efiogere, for probably from Nigeria there. Ch Ch Chikodi, Maristella, Chizoba, Juliet, Michael, Moduko Latimeji, Strong Izu, Juliet, Abigail, Oyek Oyekiri, Vivian Diko Briggs is one of our new moderators. Vivian, thank you so much. You're amazing. You're wonderful. Obisin Tiachi and Chidima Oji, one of our new moderators as well. She's here. And Anulika Anulika Ebilekwe Hezezi. Thank you guys for uh, joining today. Fumila Yolari Odubi Folake Tawa. Isha Sise, probably from West Africa there in Senegal. Sise sounds like a Senegalese name, wonderful lady. Thank you for joining. Once again, I want to say, introduce myself, Dr. J here at Ask the Gynecologist. And it's my pleasure to be your host this afternoon. 
I'm so grateful as well for you spending your time and your opportunity to be here, you know, to join us today. It's amazing. I we, we really appreciate you and thank you, precious Osawa Wu, for that shot day, Claire Oji. She's also one of our moderators. She's out there uh, giving information to you regarding whatever questions or issues you need regarding getting pregnant and getting yourself very, very healthy. So tonight, this afternoon, I'll be taking questions. It's going to be an open session. Open session. And we're going to explain things to you. Now, at the ATG IVF Center, okay, I want to explain how we work so you have an idea. And you can also tell your friends, okay. We're going to open soon in June, July. Okay, now the way we work in the ATG IVF Center is that once you've done your tests, okay, at our laboratory, we figure out that you might need IVF, you're sent upstairs to the IVF section. We do your tests for you there. Your whole package, the IVF package, the whole thing will cover all your investigations for yourself, for your husband. It covers everything you need to, to your medications to stimulate your ovaries, to collect the eggs, transfer the eggs back, you know, and to monitor you and for all your appointments. So, uh, once you get to the IVF center, everything surrounds your IVF. If you need additional treatments, for example, you need egg donor, you need sperm donor, you need, uh, you need uh, to freeze your eggs, you need to freeze sperm, or you need ICSI. Those are extra additional services. Those ones will be added extra to your IVF bill. Okay, but in most cases, they are very, very minute, okay? So your IVF covers everything, okay? But if you need egg donor, you need sperm donor, maybe you need, you, your husband came to Nigeria, he has to go back to London or America or to Italy or to Europe. You want to freeze his sperm so that he can use it at, at the right time. All this is their extras, okay? So they are extras to the IVF. Um, bill itself okay but the IVF bill itself covers all your registration covers uh, all your medication covers the anesthesia covers the consultations and covers the tests all your scans that will do to monitor your follicles to see whether you are ovulating everything is included in your IVF bill you don't worry about any other thing but if you need extras like uh, egg donor egg donor is separate we have to get, get a donor for you do screening tests for them to ensure that they are healthy and that they, they, they're not going to have defective genes or chromosomes all this will be separate tests for that person donating egg for you okay and then once you're happy you know when you know we harvest the eggs from the person get your womb ready and transfer into you appropriately to get you pregnant okay so those are separate bills okay those egg donor thing and if you're going for sperm donor too your husband needs a sperm donor they are separate thing as well if we have to go and aspirate your husband's sperm from the testicles too we call it surgical sperm aspiration they are also separate okay so it's your high bf is it's a whole bill some people don't need all those extras okay just IVF, straightforward, simple. But if you need all those extras, they are extra bills, and then we itemize it for you, or itemize them for you in your bill. Straightforward, okay? And what we're also doing in the IVF section is that you can go for one cycle, okay? And that is simple. Why IVF? One cycle is simple. One cycle means we you register, we do your test, we stimulate your ovaries, harvest the eggs, get your husband's sperm, fertilize them under the microscope, get your womb ready, implant back, test your pregnancy positive, tick. You go home. That is one cycle. There's a separate bill for that. Okay. We also have a separate bill for people like a bonanza. Okay. Which is just some extra money on top of the one cycle. Okay. So the one IVF bill is 1.2. Okay. If you attend the seminar, we'll give you sorry 1.3. If you attend the seminar today, you're gonna get it for 1.2. A special discount of over 100,000 naira. Just for attending the seminar for 2,000 naira. Okay, so if you want that discount, attend the seminar, you get a discount of over 100 naira, 100,000 naira, okay, 1.3 to 1.2. If you want to go for two cycles, okay, so, so of course there's a risk that the first time it might not work. So instead of spending another 1.2 again for another cycle, okay, we'll give you a bonanza discount. That if you want to go, if you want to pay for two, two cycles at a time, you're going to pay 1.8. That is extra 600 on top of the 1.2, extra 500 on top of the 1.3. Which is a huge discount. Two cycles, 1.8. If you attend the seminar today, you get the two cycles for 1.7. Okay? So, if for example, the first attempt does not work, you're guaranteed that you're going to have a second attempt. Okay? And that is going to make your life easier. It's like an insurance. Okay? Somebody not told me that, ah, Doctor, if, if I pay for two cycles, which is Bonanza 1.8, and the first one works, what would happen to my remaining money? It's gone because it's an insurance you paid for. What if the first one did not work? You have the second attempt without having to worry at all again about any other bill. So that insurance, that comfort 
is what we are giving extra to balance things out for people that will make life easier for a lot of people okay because what we will do is that if the first one does not work your second attempt it will be free on us the house because we'll cut off over close to uh, 1 million off which we'll take as a loss for ourselves but it's a gift from, our, from, from us somebody say they can't hear me let me check my audio so if you're going for the two you want to go choose the bonanza that we are doing okay for two cycles okay you pay the 1.8 if you attend the seminar today you're going to get it che cheaper to get a 1.7 okay so if you're going for the only one cycle is 1.3 you attend the seminar you get a discount of 100,000 naira. yeah you pay 1.2 okay i hope that makes sense okay so the beauty about paying for the two cycles at a go is that you get an insurance okay just in case the first one maybe things anything can happen and you don't get pregnant you or get opportunity to do the second one again and that will be on horse okay some so I, when i when that when the lady say oh what if the first one worked and I, I don't need the second one well that is we take that uh, um, opportunity to show that we can give it to someone else okay what if the first one does not work but you're not going to pay for that so that is the comfort you have the good thing here is that we are guaranteeing you by the grace of god all things being equal you follow us you follow our rules you get pregnant on the first attempt so let's take questions now so if you want more information you can always call my uh, our lab manager nike she'll go through the information with you the list with you and you get things understood and get it get it get it get it much clear if you want to go for ibf on the island you know how much they're going to cost you close to one, one attempt is close to 1.8 1.5 million naira. okay we're giving you a huge discount on the atg ivf and uh, the uh, ivf center okay and also uh, a lady okay was was hoping to do it and pay for the uh, 1.8 uh, 1. Uh, the two cycles and we gave her a discount of 1.2 1.7 she's paid over a million naira now just to ensure that she's saving up so we've opened an account for that lady yesterday so she's put one million down she's going to balance 700 so most people already about 10 people have taken the opportunity they started to pay instrumentally and we open an account for them so that once they put that money away they don't spend that money away again and it's, it's, it's basically saved okay and it's for you untouched by house so when, when, whenever you come to do the procedure you already have your money saved up so uh, at any case you can pay in trenches yes okay but until the until uh your money is complete you can't start the treatment or the ivf session so but your money is there and you have your receipt and we, you know me who i am my name is dr lalade i'm a fully and you know our building in, in lagos our building is there in lagos the ivf atg ivf and we can't run away we are not one 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 fake for one people okay i'm dr lalade and i have a strong family background and a strong family name in nigeria as a medical doctor so you know where i am okay so you can save your money with us and whenever you're ready just come in and you're ready and we treat you if you're coming from abroad just know that you have to work with us to do ivf in nigeria you're coming from abroad you have to plan uh, about uh, f uh, five to seven weeks okay to stay in nigeria to ensure that everything goes smoothly and if your husband has to go back to abroad he can drop his spam we freeze the spam with a small minimal fee to freeze the spam and he can go back and continue his work in abroad while you get the ivf done there's a question here on instagram hold on i'm going to answer your question shortly so lydia yes 1.3 million covers all the tests you do covers all your scans covers all your appointments covers all your consultation covers the anesthesia covers the um, um the medication everything and if you want we can break it down for you so you know the, the full details but everything covers that okay but if you attend the seminar today we're going to give you a discount and instead of paying 1.3 for one cycle you pay 1.2 but you must attend the seminar today okay that that, that, that is the huge discount and a trick there and when, when, when you come for the ibf you show the receipt of seminar for april 2021 that you attended the seminar april this year <clears throat> definitely you get a discount but you must come with your april 2021 receipt for our seminar there's a question here on instagram somebody is saying that doctor is it safe to use antibiotics if you have lymph node around your neck you are pushing ovulation if you have lymph node swelling in your neck and you got an infection take your antibiotics as prescribed okay she was up somebody is asking a question the hormonal imbalance test i did says your beta hormone fibrinogen is high fibrinogen is high fibrinogen is is, is for your clotting what is beta hormone there's nothing called beta hormone for fertility hormone we have beta hcg that is a pregnancy hormone that is not a part of our 
probability test, okay? So Chief Uzo, I don't know what you're saying, okay? But if you want me to consult with you and see your results, probably go, go to the consult services and send your results to me. I'll go through them and I will answer you. Uh, somebody's asking, Ms. Gloria, what is glaucoma? Glaucoma is when you have raised, uh, raised pressure, what we call intraocular pressure in your eyes. Very common as people age, very common with blood pressure, very co common with uh, diabetes, and so, so on and so forth. Glaucoma is when there's increased intraocular pressure. That is increased pressure in your eyes, okay? If you want twins, yes, you can get twins as well. And also even in our IVF center, ATG IVF center, we also give people opportunity to do gender selection, okay? There are tests we do now under microscope to pick the particular gender of the sperm to get you pregnant for a particular gender. So you can pay for that as well. But there's an extra charge for gender selection, okay? Right. Seminar, Monsura Odumbo. Seminar is 2000 era. And please, Anne, Oji, or um, uh, Chidima Oji, please help me give uh, uh, this lady the link to join the seminar. Thank you, Vivian. Vivian, help me give that lady link to join the seminar. We are not in Abuja. We are only in Lagos now for the ATG IVF uh, Center. Uh, what is blighted ovum? Blighted ovum is when you get pregnant, but the embryo that is fertilized, I mean, the egg fertilized become an embryo. The embryo fails to grow in the womb and it becomes what we call blighted ovum and it you know uh, it does not grow anymore it's called a missed miscarriage okay so that is blighted ovum that is an embryo that is not growing anymore precious we are only in lagos for now we're not we're not in abuja but you can consult with us and if we need to refer you to any of our uh, colleagues in abuja we can refer you to any of our colleagues in abuja for treatment and for all that okay but physically, uh, ATG is only in Lagos now. But we can consult with you and give you a second opinion after looking at your result. It doesn't matter where you are, okay? Yeah, so somebody is saying, what causes hotness in the stomach for women? It could be your, your ovulating. It could be that you have irritable bowel syndrome. It could be that you have endometriosis, okay? But first of all, do ultrasound scan, check your ovary, check your womb, and let's see what is going on. To register for the seminar uh, from Botswana, we have a link. We have a link for you to register from Botswana and Anne Oji and all our moderators. Please help me give uh, the lady called Kahob in Botswana a link to join the seminar. Can one stop? Can one can someone with one tube get pregnant? Yes, if you have one fallopian tube, okay, and that tube is perfectly okay. Yes, I've seen people that have only one tube and they get pregnant. It doesn't matter if you're ovulating from both ovaries and you have only one tube. That your body, our body, by the grace of God, has that power to pick any egg up from whether ovary. So if you have your right tube, okay, your left tube has been removed. If you ovulate from your left ovary, the egg can be picked up by the tube. Okay, if you ovulate from the right ovary, the right tube will pick up the egg. If you ovulate from the left ovary, the right tube will pick up the ovary from the left. That body, our body has the power to do that, okay? That is uh, that's the wonder of creation. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth, uh, for giving people the link to join the uh, seminar on Instagram here. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Chidi Maoji, uh, for doing that. Shatter Day, thank you so much as well for doing that. God bless you. God's time, in was asking a question. What is the cause of when I'm seeing my period? with dropping small 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 and breast hot pain ah. that question is i don't get that question well uh, my sister so reframe your question let me understand what you mean so i can answer you specifically to join the seminar the link is already there uh, the, uh my sister um asking about joining the seminar i'm a nat ibrahim vivian has already put the link for the seminar up for you rachel ejura aboja is asking doctor apart from gender selection can ivf determine the gender makeup of the embryo genetic makeup of the embryo? okay um ivf okay we we can do some specific uh, tests to see if the embryo has any diseases okay that are genetic okay that's all we can do and the, but those will come at extra charges because we have to do specific tests individually for different different diseases on the embryo if that's what you want but that was a lot of money and it could probably push you away from ivf so as far as the the, uh, the um your sperm is healthy <coughs> your egg is healthy you are healthy yourself okay what we can we can also do tests to know the genotype okay before we implant yes we can do a test to know the agenda before we implant yes 
okay so if you're worried about maybe you're carrying sickle cell you want to you don't want to give your child a sickle cell gene we can do all those tests for you before we implant the embryo if that gives you relaxation or relaxed mind i mean so we can but those tests will come at a small small cost on top of the ivf which is affordable okay so the ivf is a central thing if you need any anything extra gender selection genetic test screening genotype screening you need them um, to sperm donor you need the egg donor you need to freeze your egg you need to freeze the sperm those things come xc for example those things come as extra extra charges on top of your ivf but they are affordable because we bought, bought them down make them affordable for you and if you want to get a discount okay if you're not sure you're going to need ivf soon hmm? and you think you need ivf soon hmm? let me tell you one thing just attend the seminar today and keep your april seminar receipt once you come to the to the ivf center in atg in lagos just carry your receipt i was there at the seminar on in april this is my receipt i get to pay for it 1.2 million and this seminar the receipt is valued for that discount for six months we keep the receipt of the seminar for six months so if you come within six months from may to the end of the year december you bring your receipt for, for april seminar i was there at the april seminar for the ivf seminar this is my receipt you get a discount so instead of paying 1.3 for the one session one ivf cycle you pay 1.2 but it's good for six months okay where is the ivf center in lagos i didn't just ask him where's the ivf center in lagos yes the link for the ivf I, I, our ivf center address you already put up on the screen please um one of our moderators help me give adeniji titlope obadara the link for the uh to the ivf center in lagos chidima please help me give uh, adeniji tope obadara the link for the uh, ivf uh, center address okay Okoro Okafo, Okoro Favor. She's asking for the link, seminar link. Please help me give Okoro Favor. Help me give Love It, Erabo, Ungogu the link for the seminar tonight. Please, doctor. I gave birth six, seven months ago. My period started last week, Thursday. It's still coming out. Is it normal? Uh, Thursday, Saturday. It's normal. It's normal. It's normal. So let's see what happens by Sunday, Monday, and then if it's still heavy, get a scan to see why your period is, is heavy. But for, the, for, for Saturday, from Thursday, it's okay. Can PCOS patient get pregnant? Yes, you can conceive with PCOS, okay? And if it's causing you a concern, there are such, we have, you can do some treatment and surgeries to treat the polycystic ovarian syndrome to get you pregnant. Can someone choose your sister for donate? Yes, so if you want your sister to donate egg for you, you need to sign a consent with them. Okay, you, she, she will need to sign consent, consent that she's happy to donate the egg to you and she won't disturb you. Okay, but we also do some, some tests for her that she's okay and that our eggs are good for you. We want to ensure that the eggs we are getting from your sister is of good quality to get you pregnant. Yes, she can donate for you. Okay, but we'll still do the tests for them. So she can donate for you. Yes, but we do the test for her and very, very minimal cost. And that should uh, make you things. And as far as the egg is good from her, that should be okay, but they must consent. But I'll tell you something. It's easier to get egg from an anonymous donor that they don't know you and you move on. Getting eggs from family members can sometimes affect families. From my experience, it can destroy families if there's no good uh, common sense agreement with them. So be careful collecting egg from family members if you're not sure. I suggest you use an anonymous donor so that the, nobody disturbs you. Okay? A, a, a word is enough for the wise. Right. Doctor, what is the solution for a regular period? First of all, if you have a regular period, the best thing is to do your ultrasound scan to check your ovaries, to check your womb for fibroids or polyps, to do your moon profile to see what's going on with you. If you're overweight, you lose weight, and then we check your moon profile, your prolactin level, your FSH, estrogen, and testosterone. And then we can see why you're having this irregular period, and then we can focus on it, and you can treat it to bring your periods back to regular. Fadilat Ibrahim, she's asking for our contact address. Please, uh, Chidima, help me give uh, Fadilat Ibrahim our link address to our laboratories, ATD IVF Center, uh, so that she can do all our fertility tests and also register for IVF if she needs. And also, if you want that one to one consult with me, you can register for the diamond service, for the gold service, or for the uh, platinum service, whichever one fits you. Register for it and let me consult with you. I do that 24 7. Except I'm stepping, of course, I'm always online trying to ensure that people's lives is uh, better, 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 better. Uh, fi, fi, feel Kate Bulem on him. She's asking for the, se the seminar is today, 24th April, 8 p.m. Nigerian time. And the link to join the seminar 
to pay for the seminar has already been put up on the screen okay can somebody help me give uh, mrs bulem on him the link for the seminar please somebody is saying that does cervical polyp cause infertility no cervical polyp will not cause infertility uh, but if it's blocking your cervix that sperm can't enter it can cause infertility though but as far as it's removed and it's not blocking your cervix it's okay it's no no big deal but cervical polyp can make you have a regular period that maybe you spot doing sex okay yeah can over 45 still try IVF? Yes. If you're over 45, you can still go for IVF. But if you're not ovulating anymore, okay, it might be a good thing for you to consider egg donor at 45. Because at, at above 40, if you're still going through infertility, you're not able to get pregnant, it's always very good for you to consider egg donor at that stage. But you can still try for IVF at 45, but it's probably going to be beneficial for you to consider using egg donor at that stage, okay? What's the reason for pap smear before IVF? Okay, pap smear should be done regardless of IVF. Okay, Lillian, Joshua, pap smear, which is the same thing as cervical smear, must be done regardless of IVF. Whether you need IVF or not, as far as you're a woman and you're on this earth, you should have pap smear done regularly every three, three years. And the purpose is that we need to study your cervix to see if there's any change that could suggest that you have cancer and that we treat it immediately. Every woman that is born in this world that is above 25 should have pap smear every three, three years. And we do that in, ATG, in our ATG, ATG laboratories. We can do your pap smear for you and we can check for any sign of any cells that is cancer or that could be precursor of cancer, okay? How many babies in a circle? In at the ADG IVF center, we can transfer maximum of two embryos. Usually, we transfer only one. But if you're healthy enough and you're able to take, we can transfer two based on your consent, okay? As far as you understand the risks associated with transferring two. But we will not go more than two. Putting three is dangerous, okay? Two is maximum we can do it depending on your health circumstances, depending on how fit you are, how healthy you are, okay? And I will talk about you with you with the risks associated. And once you consent to that, we can now suggest and we can now put in the two with the two embryos. But on a good day, we try one. If we stimulate your egg donor and they produce more than two, three, four, five, six good embryos, we can freeze them for you if you want. But in most cases, freezing them will cost you additional charge that is as good as you paying for another egg donor in case you need IVF again in future. Uh, so we discard most of the unused eggs. But if you want, we can freeze them, okay? But it will cost you extra money, which is probably close to paying for another egg donor in case you need another IVF in future with another egg donor. So, but we discuss all that with you and then you decide and you choose your options for you. Okay. And if in some cases you prefer a particular donor, we can keep them on file and uh, we under an, uh, we keep them anonymous. You don't know them. You can always call them back. And if they're able to donate for you again, we donate, we get them to donate for you because some people will be happy with a particular egg from, from somebody and they want to come for IVF again after a previous successful one, they want that donor to, to be used again. We can we have a way of keeping the nomenclature and if possible, we can call them back if, if, if available and they can donate for you again. But you do not have any contact with them. You don't know the egg donor because it's legal thing, okay? Um, somebody is saying that uh, what causes a woman to menstruate up to three weeks in one, to, to one month? Probably is fibroid probably you have blood clot problem. So we can do all these tests for you to check your wound for fibroid, check for polyp, and do your uh, clotting profile to see if there's any reason why you're having heavy bleeding, okay? You pay for diamond service in May 2020. Can you still pay for seminar? Yes, if you paid for diamond service in May 2020, okay? Your stop, your stop is still available to today. So you go, okay, Sunday, Michael, you want to join the seminar today, just send your payment evidence to our email services uh, and then we'll give you the link to join the seminar and join it today, okay? Or go okay Sunday. If you paid for uh, Diamond Service in May 2020 and you want to attend the seminar today, just send an email to our ATG Services 2018 at gmail.com and then send your payment evidence to us. We'll give you the link to join the seminar and then you'll be able to attend the seminar for tonight, okay? Your sugar is slightly high at nine months. Can you have a normal delivery? If your sugar is slightly high, as far as your sugar is, sugar is well controlled and it's not causing you to be diabetic or anything or making your diabetes un uncontrollable, you can still have normal delivery at nine months yes but if your sugar is so high you you're you, you on insulin to control your sugar in pregnancy usually we try to deliver you at around 38 weeks because after 38 weeks if your sugar is too high and it's not controlled or if your sugar is too high in pregnancy and your insulin once you get to 38 weeks between 38 and 39 we want to get you delivered but if your sugar is well controlled you know, all through pregnancy and you're not on insulin for your for, for your uh, for your sugar you can get you close to 40 weeks pregnancy okay <laughs> Thank you. 
if you've had your baby and you want to celebrate your baby at ATG Facebook page, send a picture of your baby with yourself carrying in one single in one single shot. Your baby on your hand. Send it to us and we'll celebrate your baby with you. We want to celebrate babies because babies are God are their God's gifts and their blessings to us. So if you you're pregnant, if you had your baby, you want to share, share, share your testimony, we share and we accept that. Send the pictures to us but in your picture carry your baby in your hand because so that no nobody will say that we've imposted or, or we are imposters of anything carry your baby in your hand and send the picture to us we will approve it and we'll publish it on facebook on our facebook page somebody here on instagram miss onime she's asking you did another um another test of pregnancy this week it came out negative your breast is paining you you, die, you haven't seen your period then go and do blood test of pregnancy and when you go to the laboratory tell them you want to do serum quantitative beta hcg and we get this result of pregnancy in numbers once we get a number figure if it's more than 25 it makes you pregnant but if it's not if it's less than 25 you're probably not pregnant okay so we need to do that blood test okay that's what i need simple straightforward okay that'll give us reassurance to know what, what, what we are doing the question here aside from folic acid is there any other multivitamin you should take folic acid vitamins vitamin d you should be on those two things if you're trying to get pregnant or if you're pregnant already. A friend has fibroid in her womb, can she join the IVF? What's your recommendation? My recommendation is that let your friend contact us, okay? You can't consult for your friend, okay? You can't consult for, you, for your friend. Let your friend contact me, we'll take it from there. Can a woman with O negative and O positive man become pregnant through IVF? Why not? She, they can, of course. Doctor, You've not answered my question, Monsuka Tondumbo. I already answered your question, Monsuka Tondumbo. If you, if you have not answered your question, I'm sorry about that. Ask it again. Thank you. You know I'm human too. These things are so fast. I will miss questions too, definitely. So apologies if I missed your question. I'm human. As I've answered the question, before I read it again, another one has come up. Is ovarian cyst dangerous during pregnancy? No. But if your ovarian cyst is in pregnancy is twisting, what we call ovarian torsion it will cause pain in such a case we have to remove it in pregnancy i know of a lady that was pregnant delivered last week she had this big ovaries a big ovarian cyst which was twisting on itself when she was 26 weeks we had to go in and remove it but there's a slight risk of miscarriage if we do that sort of operation during pregnancy but it's safe we do it all the time if your ovaries ovarian cyst is twisting on itself it causes pain we can take it out during pregnancy Somebody's asking where is our hospital in Lagos. The address Ozioma we put up on your screen just now, okay? You see our address to come to our hospital in Lagos, okay? And we, there's a lab the laboratory there, there's a hospital affiliated to us, and also we have our IVF center, which is going to IVF center, which is opening um, uh, June, July this year. Perpetual and is asking our contact. Please, and Abimbola is asking for our contact. Yes, they will give you our link for our contact shortly. Please help me give Abimbola, Awawu, and Perpetua Ndukwe our contact address and to contact us at the ATG Video Center or the ATG Laboratory. If you do any of your tests, okay, infertility tests at the ATG Laboratories, you're automatically allowed to send me your results and I'll review your results. And you can talk to my, um, our managers at the, at the laboratories. Once you do your test there, they will give you my link so you can forward the results to me directly once your test result is out, okay? Can a man with B positive and a woman, and woman with open neck positive have IVF? Yes possibly you have three girls what will you do to, to get a boy come to ATG IVF we do gender selection for you to get a boy okay is it normal to menstruate twice in a month it can happen if you have a 28 day cycle and your first day of period is January 1 you probably have another period again at January 29 if every 28 day cycle so it's possible to have two periods in a month normally it's possible so it all depends on on, on your cycle if Dr. J thank you so much uh, for that Shadi. Monsuga Todumbo, those plan covers the egg donor if they need IRIs during the IVF. Okay. So Monsuga is saying those the plan covers for egg donor if the need arises for IVF. No, I said again, if you need IVF, okay, IVF the bill IVF it covers only your medication, your drugs, the um, egg. It will give you some injections to stimulate your ovaries to produce egg. We harvest the egg, fertilize it in a laboratory, put it back into you. All your tests. For yourself or your husband your consultation appointment that is the ivf bill if you not if you need separate donor egg donor it's a separate bill extra if you need sperm donor it's separate bill extra if you need to freeze your egg separate bill if you need to freeze your sperm separate bill 
those are separate extras okay but if you need ivf for example if your tubes are not blocked your ovary is good you're producing eggs yourself you are responding to produce eggs with medication your husband's sperm is good you just need ivf to get pregnant that is straightforward 1.3 you come to seminar today you get a discount 1.2 if you want to pay for two cycles, we have a bonanza, 1.8. You come to the seminar today, you get a 1.7. That is that. If you now need extras, all those ICSI, the gender selection, to freeze your eggs, to freeze your sperm, to do this and that and that, you want to check for genotype, you want to check for um, some diseases, separate, separate, separate bill. Those who are separate, separate bill, Monsora or Dumbo. So those are separate bills, okay? Somebody is saying that, what do you do if you find out your tubes are blocked? If your tubes are blocked, uh Akinola Aina, that is IVF for you. If your tubes are blocked and you want to get pregnant, that is IVF automatically. On Instagram here, a lady is saying that what are the risks of flushing blocked tubes? And is it a good idea? If you have blocked tubes, we can flush your tube at the tubation. But in most cases, once the tubes are blocked and you flush them, they only are clear. Only one out of every four. If you flush four tubes that are blocked, okay, only one will respond and open. Okay, and if it's not opening, it's IVF. Even if you get pregnant after flushing your tubes, we have to scan you at around five, six weeks to ensure that the pregnancy is not ectopic. Once the tube is damaged and we flush it, once the tube is damaged, even even if we don't flush it, there's a risk of ectopic pregnancy. So once you get pregnant, okay, after flushing the tubes, we should scan you and we must scan you at around five, six weeks of pregnancy to ensure it's not ectopic. Okay, does love making pregnancy? Make vaginal, does love making a pregnancy make delivery vaginally easier? It doesn't really matter. If you're pregnant, you're having sex during pregnancy, it does not matter. It does not increase your chances of having the vaginal delivery, okay? Thank you, Vivian. Mandweke, some to is asking, is severe heat pain something to worry about at eight months of pregnancy? No, but don't. If you're doing up and down, you're doing one bed, party up and down, serving rice, all up and down in pregnancy, you're probably going to have heat pain. So you need to take things easier and much more slower and the rest okay and but i'm not saying you should not stay in bed 24 7 or keep moving but do it proportionally be reasonable don't move too much don't too much stress on yourself but don't sit down in bed okay it's you have to find the balance can low sperm cell be able to fertilize the egg and come out quality embryo if you have low sperm it's unlikely that it's unlikely that you can get pregnant yourself if you have low sperm what we do is that we get you to produce the sperm by masturbation in the laboratory we now take the sperm quickly separate the good quality sperm and we put it into your wife's egg to get you pregnant that's simple ivf but you still have low sperm but we can still get the good if you can't get any good sperm definitely we have to now consider doing ICSI or we have to consider doing sperm donor if there's no sperm at all some people they will produce semen but there's no sperm in the semen okay the semen is the what you see that thing that looks like pap inside the semen is the sperm okay good um, good evening, Dr. Yeah, Dr. J. Uh, Sheena Johnson Adoki. Thank you so much. Here, yeah. we also have it. Somebody's asking a question. I need the name of the test. What test do you need? Misonime. I don't know what test you're talking about. Test. Good afternoon, doctor. Is there a cause for prolonged period? Probably fibroid, probably polyp, probably um, what we call uterine, 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 uterine artery malformation. It's congenital, sometimes to blood clotting. You don't clot, your blood doesn't clot well. Perpetua is asking for our contact. Yes, please. And Tessie and Uluaku is asking for our contact. Please, my team members there, help me give Tessie Uluaku our lab lab address and contact. Help me give Perpetua Undukwe our lab address and contact. Okay? Mm -hmm. On Instagram here, I'm seeing if you have any no questions here. Uh, Miss Onime, what's your question? What, what test are you asking about on Instagram here? Uh, Pregnancy results coming out negative, experiencing pregnancy symptoms, what's the cause? You're not pregnant. If you're pregnant, we do test of pregnancy, it's positive. If you're not pregnant, you're having all the symptoms of pregnancy, if there are symptoms, they are not pregnancy, okay? If you're pregnant, we do test of pregnancy, we need to see positive pregnancy test. If you can't see positive pregnancy test, then you're not pregnant. It doesn't matter what symptoms you're having, okay? I'm so sorry to say that, but that, that is just the honest fact. What is the cause of smelly discharge and what is the cure? You have smelly discharge, it's likely an infection. You see, if you if you see, every woman has a vaginal discharge. I've not seen any woman that does not have a vaginal discharge. Your vagina is like your mouth, it produces saliva. Your, your, your vagina will produce some juice, some, some secretion. That is the normal vaginal discharge. It does not smell, it's not offensive. It doesn't smell, it's not offensive. It's clear, 
okay and usually when, when, whenever you're ovulating it's more profuse see some people doing sex they're ovulating and they're having sex during during the ovulation the, vag the vagina juice the vagina secretions becomes like foam you know that egg white like becomes foam so that, that's why you see some people whenever they're having sex during the ovulation ovulation, ovulation time doing sex their vag vag vagina secretion is like foam it's normal so your normal vagina discharge does not it's not offensive okay it is not blood stained it doesn't itch okay and it's clear in color that is normal but if your vagina discharge is itchy it's offensive okay it contains blood stain okay then you have to check for infection because it's probably causing you something nasty all right uh thank you much Oliver, for answering uh my sister answering tessie oluaku uh darlington james times asking she's been on period for a month now what could be the cause go and do scan to check your fibroid okay and check your ovaries as well and check for polyps in your womb okay can someone treat there's nothing wrong with black black messes blood is blood so I, I, I don't know why people think if, if they see their period dark that there's problem okay seeing black blood during your period is normal i don't know who came up with this theory that if you are seeing black blood from your period that is, is, is infertility or is something abnormal there's nothing wrong black bleeding from period it's supposed to be black now what's it supposed to be it's supposed to be pink and it's supposed to be purple so if you see black period or black blood from period it's old blood that is dry and when blood is coming out from vagina it, it mixed with your vagina, vagina uh, juice and it, the blood doesn't come out it's, it's, it's stagnant there the, it will digest or it will break down and become black so i've never seen a woman complain that she has a purple period but people always say they have black bleeding and they, they are worried about it what is it supposed to be it's supposed to be it's supposed to be um ye yellow blood it's black because it's old blood it's it's broken down it's old blood Mm. so i don't understand why people are always called uh, the, the the most abused organ in the human body's vagina the vagina has been so bastardized and so abused and so traumatized from everything from sex from baby from period from people putting all this concussion and maggie and cucumber everything in the vagina it's as if vagina is, 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 is so is, is so is, is so disgusting to people it's as if people think that they're not supposed to have, as, if, as, as if having a vagina is a problem god designed it that way so seeing black black uh, menstruation is not a problem. Oh. I've no, I don't understand why people assume that they must traumatize and they must abuse their vagina for heaven's sake. People put all these unknown things, things that are so uh, surprising. People put things, people don't put anything in their mouth. But vagina, they'll put anything there. People don't put anything in their anus. Vagina, they'll put anything there. They'll put Maggie, they'll put cucumber, they'll put uh, ta, 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 all those stupid things that, that, that names cannot, that mouth cannot even produce or, or pronounce. They'll put it in the vagina. As if vagina is, is supposed to be treated harshly. It amazes me. It's, it, it, it confounds me. Okay, anyway, let's continue. You've been on your period for a month now. What could be the cost? you're having a period for a month it's not supposed to be why should you have a period for a month first of all you can take some medications to slow down the period but first next things that we have to know why you're having this every period for a month or to sound scan check your womb check for adenomyosis check for fibroids check for polyp check your your, your blood clotting factors are you clotting normally okay so when you check all this we know what's wrong and we can fix it we can fix it Oh, I'm not an herbalist. I won't just give you, go and take this when I don't know what's causing it. I need to know why you're having heavy bleeding. I need to know why you're having hormonal, hormonal imbalance. I need to know which hormone is imbalanced. Then I can fix them. I, I don't do guesswork, okay? And I've been doing this thing for a long time. So I, I, think, I think I know what I'm doing to an extent. Or even know it very, very well. Thank you so much, uh, guys, for listening to me today. I need to go off now. I need to get ready for the seminar tonight. And I'll see you all soon. If you've not registered, go and register now. You must not miss it. You must not miss it. God bless you. I hope to see you soon. I love you all. And bye-bye. Uh,